It's wireframes time. All right, today is the second part of the redesign process of our product, Prospero. I've shared with you how we got started doing user research, really understanding what are the problems that we're trying to solve with this redesign process. Today, I took those insights and actually put them down into some wireframes to see how the structure and the new flow will work. Uh, so I want to show you what we have right now so you, know, you can really understand those wireframes in context to what I'm trying to solve. So here's what we have right now. When people sign up to Prospero, they get to this empty state of the dashboard with this pop-up, create your first proposal. When they click on it, they're getting into the wizard, which is kind of a, a core experience uh, to, uh, of the creation proposal. They put in all their details here and they move step by step. And we've discovered doing the research that there's a lot of problems in this process. This is not very you know, effective to write long texts in here. Also, this whole process is not mobile responsive. Um, then they're clicking here. Again, there is some issues with smaller screen. It doesn't look very well. It's not optimized. People do not really understand or find some of those buttons and use some of the content that we have here. Um, and they, a lot of time, they jump through the steps and they just, you know, they miss part of it. Uh, when they finish this, they actually get to see the, their full proposal. So today I'm actually focusing on redesigning the wizard because I feel like this is a core part of the first user experience, which I really, really want to get down. And I want to make this fun. I want to make this kind of like mind blowing and a great experience. What's, what's being called like the aha moment. I want that when they'll finish it, they'll have like this feeling of, wow, look what a wonderful proposal has been created. So it'll be like a wonderful moment. So first things that I was trying to solve is really get rid of all the UX issues that we had uh, and make this new design, you know, thinking about mobile and, and trying to make this mobile responsive. But more than that, um, we've actually realized that the question that we're asking during this uh, wizard process can be a bit different and actually provide more value. So um, the, the way that I restructure it right now will actually help you kind of think and plan the process better and actually will also help you price it better. So let me show you what I've created. So again, this is really, really rough uh, wireframes just for the content. It's not like visually designed uh, with UI. So I just, when people sign up, I want them to jump straight into the, the creation with her. There is no use to showing them like an empty dashboard. So I'm just going to take them into create your first proposal, get started. I'm going to ask them what type of project that they're, they're working on, um, which is more or less what we have right now. But then I'm going to take them into a very specific type of project, um, which I'm doing kind of content research right now, seeing what all the types of proposals people are actually creating and making out of them like very, very specific templates to different types of website, different types of designs. So most of the content will be super, super optimized and, and customized for your specific needs. So let's say somebody uh, chose a project, let's say it's maybe uh, a UX or, or a web design project. Now we're getting to the question of uh, workload estimation. So previously, this was a list of deliverables, but now I want them to really think about this as estimation of how long they're going to be working on the project, because this is also how they're going to think about the pricing. And so I've put here, um, for each project, I will put the defaults of kind of the task that you have for, for it, but you'll also be able to add more tasks and you'll also be able to kind of specify how long you're going to be working on uh, or you're estimating that you're going to be working on each of these tasks. Uh, the next thing is kind of asking them people if they're kind of offering them an upsell. We realize that a lot of people don't actually offer kind of upsells, which is extra services to their clients. You know, you've been asked to design a website and you did a whole redesign, for example, like the ones I showed you with a new brand character. Why not sell your clients also t-shirts with this brand character that you already did uh, when you did the design? It's just 
another you know extra value that you can provide them and people most people we discovered don't think about this and so we want to suggest them ideas that uh, they can actually offer their clients and just you know put them in a frame of mind of thinking for a second wait you're in the opportunity of creating a proposal you're going to sell something to your client how about you know offering extra value so this is a new question that we've put in here um, then I'm going to be asking them for their hourly rate which will help me uh, you know calculate the proper price for the project and also I'm going to help them you know uh, I've put here a link to help me calculate my rate because of what we realized is a lot of people determine their rates kind of like on the average of what they think other people are charging or what looks uh, you know normal to them but they're actually not basing that price on their own needs their own spendings and their own you know how much they want to save up for pension and so we're gonna add another calculator inside of this wizard uh, which they can just like open I haven't designed it yet but I will do it um, which will help them determine the the right hourly rate for them so that's another value extra value that we don't have in the project right now and this redesign is actually gonna offer this more value into the product um, this is a, a this is a question that we have right now, but uh, I've just redesigned it a little bit. It's kind of like we're we're giving you ideas for kind of a, a skills skill set that you can show your client. Um, you can tell them work with me because I work really fast, or because I'm pixel perfect, or or uh, you know th this is kind of like pre pre ready ready made content that we have, uh, not very different from what we have right now. Then finally, what's your client name? Um, and then creating your proposal. So as you can see from what I try to do here is really try to simplify each screen to deal with one question, whether you know in the process that we have right now, you have screens that are dealing with, you know, these questions, this client info has like three questions in it or three fields. This one has three fields. So it's really too much information and we've we've really understood that people are wasting like not wasting but investing like more than an hour just going through the wizard and we think it will be more proper if they go through the wizard as fast as possible get like aha moment and then actually do the the you know the fine the fine text or redoing of of the content of the text itself in the proposal editor we think will be much much easier to do so this is basically the the core structure of how i want the wizard to be um, there's another uh, little flow here of if people uh, if somebody chose other it's a project type that we don't have then they can just add the content uh, by themselves with they will put in the uh, project type and then they'll do the type um, so I've worked with this wireland kit which actually uh, allows for a very a lot of types of kind of like ready-made buttons inputs and uh, and textiles the reason that I use this is because now when we're gonna do the design I'm just gonna edit those styles and it'll be much easier to just implement the UI design onto a sketch file that is already you know everything is with styles everything is with uh, symbols I think it will be much more efficient to get to the next step of the actual UI design all right I'm hoping to get more done today but I have to go now to a lunch meeting with two very talented designers that um, want to get to know, hang out with, and uh, fly some drones. That was a really fun lunch with the guys. Didi's a designer from New York. I got to know a while ago, and he brought Joel, who's the product designer of GitHub. Super, really cool people. We had a great discussion about which is harder to teach product people how to do beautiful visual designs or to take visual people and kind of teach them how to do good product. Couldn't get to an agreement. Anyway, I'm headed back to the office, try to get some more work done today. All right, so got a little bit more work done. Afternoons are definitely always a little bit less productive than my mornings. 
but uh, I went over all the other components of the app and actually got to realize that um, I don't really have to create wireframes for them because all the things that I'm really trying to improve uh, are more like kind of UI issues and so I'll just do that when I do the visual design. The wizard is the one thing that I really had to kind of reconstruct from scratch with new wireframes. So I'm excited because tomorrow I'll actually get started on the UI, which is always like the fun part. So uh, excited for tomorrow. Hope you guys have a great day. Catch you tomorrow.